Hey guys, I wanted to show you around my airplane uh, just to show you all the little different parts that I designed and how everything was laid out uh, so that if some of you are building your own, maybe you can use some of these ideas for yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Uh, first of all, you'll note that uh, there's this big box up here. All of this was custom printed uh, out of PETG, out of multiple parts. Let me see if I can get a bigger, a better image of that. So, single box. Uh, this portion right here is where all the, all the buttons and wiring are. It is separate from that portion right there. Uh, up back here is where the air comes in uh, under pressure from outside. It gets pushed into this box in the middle, and this is where the air vents are. So the air vents are uh, two halves of uh, these sphere-like things. Uh, they're printed together out of ABS and glued back together with acetone and sanded so they're nice and smooth. And you can close the vent or you can open it and aim it wherever you want it to go. Uh, typically these vents are rather expensive but this made it much, much, much cheaper. Other, issue, uh, other things I did, let's see, let me turn on that. Uh, there's lighting. Uh, you can kind of barely see the back lighting back there. Once you turn it on, you can also turn these lights on. These are, uh, I think they're about 20 bucks each, maybe less. Uh, very cheap LED lights for, um, which we'll call it, RVs. So there's one on each side, one here, one there. Let me turn this one on off because it's blinding. Uh, so they just, you turn them on, they're powered by the same box up here. Also, there are lights can see them over here. There's one here, one in the middle, and one there. And these lights, they light up uh, this joystick and this throttle quadrant. They're very dim right now because they're mainly for nighttime use. Let me now go ahead and press in on that. <clears throat> and then I have the exact same thing, uh, well, similar thing back there. Also a box that I printed. I just had to cut out a slot here and there in this thing. And same thing, lights turn on and off for passengers. And same kind of ball vents up there. Then, <clears throat> let me see. So I have my uh, panels. This is usually full screen like this. So I have my, uh, these are Dynon panels. Uh, the um, Skyview 10-inch displays. Uh, this one uh, has a, um, uh, airspeed, altitude, all that, compass, all that kind of stuff, and engine monitoring, and this one has uh, just the maps, so I can see everything around me. This one actually shows me um, other traffic that's moving around live. It also shows me weather in the area. Right now it's just downloading, so you can only see weather a little bit up there. And air, airspace and everything else. Uh, when I'm flying, after I don't have to worry about the engine too much, I can go display full, and uh, the engine information is still at the bottom. Only the important stuff, but I can see full screen everything in front of me. This actually shows me a virtual display of the terrain, so if there's mountains or hills, it will show me on this display as, uh, in 3D as well. <clears throat> and it also shows me other traffic in the area, so you can see that thing right there, that's somebody else flying way out in the distance over there. So it'll give me a warning if there's traffic that might interest, uh, uh, be an intercept course with me. Uh, up here I have my audio display. This is a uh, PS, uh, PS Engineering PDA 360EX. This thing does four, uh, four outputs, so I can have uh, pilot, co-pilot, two passengers, and it does Bluetooth and uh, audio input as well and I can separate the audio uh, among different things. So as a pilot, I can listen to my own thing and passengers can listen to uh, their music or something else. Then there's the uh, radio tuner, that's a volume and uh, how to tune, I think this is where I actually turn the uh, radio frequencies. Autopilot control, speed brake. Uh, so this was a generic switch. That it's the kind that you need to pull in order to engage because as you see, it gets uh, we get locked in that little knob there. And uh, the back panel uh, I designed and 3D printed myself. Uh, there's actually a lot of stuff that gets 3D printed. 
all the black stuff is out of uh, PETG. All the white stuff, I think it's either PETG or ABS. And it's essentially I print um, the black part uh, with recessed areas and then the um, white part gets printed right into those areas uh, just inlaid. So I have speed brake, that's closed, that's open. If I were to pull it down, you'd see it come down uh, at the bottom. USB, uh, because these panels require USB to read maps and um, <coughs> airport panels and stuff. And then this is the Dynon Avionics uh, navigation. This is connected to my big displays. I don't need a big display on this one. The only thing this is needed is to set up uh, routes um, that IFR based routes because this has uh, IFR certified GPS hooked up to it as well as a VOR and this reads uh, feeds into my main display and the map so I can see the all the stuff that I'm supposed to be flying in those. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> um, regarding printing, front panel I have uh, seat heaters so <clears throat> excuse me, velocity does not put out a lot of heat unfortunately. So, uh, actually, let me turn off some of this stuff so I'm not draining the battery. Velocity uh, doesn't put out a lot of cabin heat, unfortunately, uh, because the only way the heat works is the engine's in the back. It has to pump uh, oil, hot oil, to the front, uh, to a um, heater in the front. And that uh, hot oil, the air passing through it into the cabin is about the only heat you get. So, um, I was recommended and I installed them. There's uh, these seat heaters and they are installed right under uh, under the seat here and in the back over here. <clears throat> so these, you just flip them on in medium or low uh, or high and they were just fine. Then they have a USB. Uh, this is just a generic Amazon, uh, like a trucker, uh, installing your truck or car kind of a USB charger thing. It's uh, the exact same design as the switches up here. These switches are also from, uh, I forgot the name, but it's a very popular uh, type of brand of switch. A lot of uh, trucks, boats, and RVs use them. And there's a company that lets you, as you can see, lets you uh, laser engrave texts and pictures, and they do support airplane things too. <coughs> so, uh, and then I have auxiliary one and auxiliary two for the audio. <laughs> uh, regarding the vents, uh, hard to see them there. Uh, but the vents are also 3D printed. Um, they just attach into a big uh, rectangular hole back in the wall back there. And on one end, they're rectangular and vents. On the other end, they are round that uh, the round flux tube goes into. So uh, throttle, <laughs> this is actually a generic um, uh, throttle quadrant I got from Aircraft Spruce, but it comes with a plain round uh, aluminum tube at the top. So what I did was I printed this handle, which actually fits my hand uh, pretty well. And the other thing that this also allowed me to do is to embed a switch on a side here. This switch is hooked up to go around. So just like if you're flying in a series, you have a go around mode when you're uh, doing a couple approach. You press this, it disconnects you from the uh, autopilot on a go around and sets you up for a climb. Um, same print stuff, stuff here. Sorry about that. Pilot, co pilot headset. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is not a great place to put it. I might actually end up having to put something over it because uh, when I'm flying, uh, when your jacks are sticking out here, they're easy to get to, but your elbow ends up pressing on here. You might notice I don't have any circuit breakers. Sometimes they go here. I'll probably put a cup holder here instead. My circuit breakers, I use something called a VPX, vertical power display, and they are all digital. So these are all my circuits. Uh, it tells me what my amperage is. It tells me what each device is uh, using and whether it's actually powered on or off. Uh, the nice thing about this, besides not wasting space in the cabin for circuit breakers is that if I have any kind of issues where a circuit breaker pops, it'll automatically hop on and give me a warning saying uh, engine monitor. In other words, it will tell me that there's an issue with, uh, I'll turn it off, there's an issue with a circuit breaker. <clears throat> so as soon as anything happens, I don't have to rub, brush my hand over circuit breakers, I will know right away because uh, the engine monitor will kick on and it'll tell me that there's something wrong needs to be checked and uh, I'll check on the warning 
it'll say the BX fault and once I go in there I'll be able to see exactly what failed and be able to reset it. <laughs> um, only f catch is I need to have two displays because if that display dies because a circuit pops I'll have to use this display in order to be able to reset it. And back here same similar thing also have uh, my seat heaters uh, for the passengers, uh, same USB charger for their phones, and then um, a headphone and connectors for heads and microphones. Same stuff, um, PTG print with uh, white inlay into it for the text and everything else. And uh, I think that's it for that. Uh, side sticks, of course. And uh, right, a uh, kind of required compass up there. This was also was a 3D printed ring inlaid around it to keep it in place. Uh, the USB holder is also a 3D print to hold that lock that in place as well. Um, and of course, my there's my uh, registration number 3D printed as well. So uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it for everything that's visible. There are also quite a lot of 3D prints in the rest of the plane. There are wire labels that are 3D printed because they are ABS plastic will never wore out. Uh, there's a lot of grommets that ended up 3D printing, but <laughs> in general you see that usually you see panels being really, really busy with a lot of buttons and switches and dials and uh, gauges and stuff like that. All my buttons are up here, so I have uh, just to go over them. Um, battery, alternator, uh, fuel pump high and low, left magneto, right magneto, start. So I go fuel pump, left magneto, right magneto, start, let go. Uh, plane works. Then I have avionics, autopilot, uh, pitot heat, and this is uh, emergency bypass. So let's say my VPX dies or something uh, happens where I'm not getting power, uh, this would allow a hit a relay and it'll connect only my, uh, it'll disconnect the VPX and everything else and only uh, connect my most important things like my uh, display and radio uh, directly to the battery. So uh, worst case scenario, I hit this button and it'll uh, keep me going at least until I can land. Next we have uh, my, what are that, uh, strobe lights, uh, nav lights, landing lights, and cabin lights. And um, my landing light up front is also uh, in a 3D printed uh, holder. It's a giant round light that needed to be attached to a round hole. So I 3D printed kind of a, a slot that it just slides into and then a zip tie holds it in place. Uh, so that's, that's how that was set up. And then and again, in the front, all I have is uh, main display for uh, my altitude, speed, navigation, everything else. Uh, my maps or backup display, uh, and then uh, audio panel, radio, uh, autopilot panel, uh, what do I call it? Speed brake, and my VFR, uh, IFR navigation, and of course a compass. So that's it.